Happy Tuesday. Here we are in that difficult passage, Romans 1, 18 to 20. For God's wrath is revealed from heaven against all godlessness and unrighteousness of people who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. Since what can be known about God is evident among them because God has shown it to them for his invisible attributes. That is, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen since the creation of the world, being understood through what he has made as a result. People are without excuse. To deny or to suppress the truth I think pretty clear from this passage, that angers God. And, and in, in our godlessness or unrighteousness as a culture, as a society, as a people, we suppress the truth that angers God. Redefining human existence. You see, I've said it before, and I think I've said it in some of these videos, that God, that divine identity, created what we see all around us by divine design. And if there's a divine design, then God has a plan. And when we come along and try to define human existence uh, to the point that we say, well, we came from some sort of animal being, I'm not going to get into the hypothesis of evolution and stuff, but that's redefining human existence. And what it is actually doing is, is it is the result of self-seeking, self-pleasure seeking. We see it showing in our culture today as this sexual gender revolution. It seeks to redefine and redesign humanity. And in doing so, it denies God's design. It suppresses the truth. It denies God. We must worship and honor God, not deny God, not try to undo what God's d done. God has revealed himself all around us. His creation, I like to call it God's sanctuary. His creation shows design. His creation shows his spoken word to us because he spoke it into existence. Romans 1.18 tells how we should honor that. For God's wrath is revealed from heaven against all godlessness and unrighteousness of people who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. Since what can be known about God is evident among them because God has shown it to them for his invisible attributes, that is, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen since the creation of the world, being understood through what he has made. As a result, people are without excuse. See you next time.